So, da sind wir jetzt auch zurück beim nächsten Video bei UFC 3 der Beta, heute hier am 6. Dezember. Wie gesagt, am Ende des ersten Videos habe ich ja gesagt, ich zeichne alles am einen und gleichen drauf und habe ja gesagt, dass ich als nächstes Part 6 aufzeichne. Und wie ihr es auch oben direkt sehen könnt, es ist jetzt mein Zweitprofil auf der Konsole bezogen, äh, auf dem EA-Konto. Weil da habe ich immer, was die Konsole trifft, immer Probleme mit dem EA-Konto auf meinem Hauptprofil. So dass ich das Zweitprofil sozusagen nur deswegen habe, um halt den, damit ich dann in Anführungsstrichen online gehen zu können, also EA-Spiele online spielen zu können. Und ich hatte vorher versucht, äh, ins UFC Ultimate Team hier jetzt reinzukommen. In den Fall in UFC 2 war es das, was das betrifft, kein Problem. Da ging es. Und hier ging es halt jetzt nicht. Aber weil ich von vorne gesagt habe, wie es da gesehen hat, bei dem ersten Video von dem ungeliebtes Konto. Und wo ich hier reingehen wollte, weil mein Hauptbefehl aller gleich gesagt hat, wo zu kommen nicht rein. Und habe ich hier gestartet und konnte auch irgendwie kurz ein Kampfhauptbefehl. <lacht> Entschuldigung runterladen äh, einmal Audio genau jetzt muss ich die Box einmal anmachen wieder so und Jetzt online oder bei einem Lieblingsfinder vorgestellt. Genau. Da gehen wir jetzt einfach ins Ultimate UFC Fighting Team rein. Welcome to EA Sports UFC Ultimate Team. The mode that lets you build and customize a team of UFC fighters to compete online or offline in a variety of exciting challenges. Every fight earns you coins you can use to purchase Ultimate Team Packs containing better fighters, better moves, and other ways to improve your team. Powerful new items are available all the time. Compete in Ultimate Championships, Single Player Championships, or the all new Solo Challenges to rank up, earn coins, and build your baddest UFC Ultimate Team. Genau. Willkommen beim Ultimate Team. Links dem Shower Pack. Und jetzt müssen wir erst noch ein paar Sachen zeigen. Schieße alle Abschnitte und Map, um Coins für den Aufbau deines neuen Ultimate Teams zu erhalten. Öffne deinen Startauftrag, um mehr zu erfahren. So, dann haben wir erstmal gesagt, oben rechts die Liste, das 0 E-Mails, 0 was auch immer, den 25.000.
und wieder das markierte Feld in eine Technik einsetzen. Einsetzen. Haken Körper. So. Und jetzt kommt halt da schließt noch ein Kampf ab. Das kann man nur kreisen und zurück. Willkommen bei einem Team. Denk dran, dass du den mein Teambildschirm von jedem Kampf sehen wirst und dort letzte Anpassungen an deinen Kämpfer vornehmen kannst. Drücke bei meinem Team Options, um den Kampf zu beginnen. Gern bitte halte, R2 gedrückt und der Weg rechts nach oben, um einen Clinch-Versuch äh, zu starten. Ihr hört auch, dass auch die Kommentatoren hier auf Englisch sprechen und nicht wie in UFC 1 und 2 auf in Deutschland da es gesagt hat. Entschuldigung, noch die Beta ist. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, the only simultaneous two division champion in UFC history. And really a guy who has taken the sport by storm, his win over Jose Aldo. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. So here he is, Tony El Kukui Ferguson, no man in the history of this story division, has won nine fights consecutively, other than Tony Ferguson. Nice ratio of knockouts and submissions. And even if he has to go the distance, as he did with Rafael Dos Anjos at altitude, no problem there. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound mixed martial artists on the world, and for my money, one of the greatest lightweights of all time. This fighter is a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. If he can get this fight to the ground, he will have an advantage there over almost everyone in the world. Kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. Ferguson is four years the elder. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Lightweight division. Fighting at the blue corner. A mixed martial artist. He stands five feet nine inches tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a Dublin Ja, wie wieder die Anzeige ist auf Deutsch schon, aber die muss halt wieder von das auf Deutsch reinsprechen, so Fans auf Deutsch Kommentatoren äh, nicht dabei sind. Ich dachte, in UFC 1 und 2 war es ja, da war es schon da Frank Buschmann. Dann wollen wir doch mal gucken, ob wir hier die diesen Kampf nicht mehr gewinnen. Jetzt haben wir natürlich den Vorteil, zwei Inch mehr Reichweite. So, Yves Levine draws the lightweight assignment here. Are you ready? All right, we are getting underway here at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Oh, that's a good strike there by Tony Ferguson. Whenever you see a fighter's legs stiffen up like that, that's not a good sign. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. And he's eating some shots. Just missed oh. with the leg kick. Wow! Ferguson out on his feet! Nice leg kick. Just 
just missed with that huge kick. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Snaps off the jab effectively there. Ah, absolutely. Now he's done. Fine. McGregor has caught by the inside leg. Genau, jetzt kommt hier die Einblendung auch noch nach. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Brutal strikes landed from the full guard. Oh, he got cracked. Let's go, do something. Wow! What a fight! Fantastic fight. Here's the end of the fight here, and this is just outstanding. Just each guy leaving it all in the octagon. <laughs> this is crazy. How about the ground and pound to finish the fight? Oh, that is as good an offensive execution as we have seen on the ground in recent memory. One big shot after the next. He wasn't just trying to score or buy time before the referee stood them up. He was trying to pound his opponent out of there, and that is exactly what he did. You wonder if some fighters will watch this footage and learn from that high-level offensive execution when it comes to the ground and pound. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute and 40 seconds of the very first round. Joining the winner by... Oh, oh, Tony! Well, what else can be said about Tony Ferguson? Congratulations to El Kukui, who gets yet another UFC win here tonight. And I think the conditioning is where I'd at least like to start. I mean, this man has cardio for days. Looked like he could have gone 10 rounds here tonight. Didn't need 50 minutes to accomplish the goal. Tony Ferguson celebrating with Eddie Bravo and the rest after yet another massive performance here tonight. Set store ablauf in
All right, coming up next, what should be a good lightweight clash between Tony Ferguson and, and now on. You ready to fight? Ready. And we are underway here at the Mecca, Madison Square Garden in New York City. There's the jab, then another. Watch the shot here, Joe. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, wow. Cool. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Pretty strong jab there by Diaz. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's going to have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Got to get his head off the center line. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. Again, working off of that jab. Vicious oh, left, hand. left hand. We'll see if he can follow it up. The left hook hits home. Blocks the shot. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. Effective punch there by Diaz. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Hit him with the jab. Oh, effective use of the jab here, Joe. Trying to double up on that jab. Diaz is lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Joe, nice head movement there to slip that right hand. Switching stances here. Hard hook. And both guys really throwing with authority. Blocks the strike. Oh, nice strike landed there by Ferguson. Well, he's connecting with his punches now. Took him a while to find the range. He has found it now. Huge block there. Oh, tagged him. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. And he che he's checking every single one of those. Diaz gets caught with that punch. All of those are blocked. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Going after it here. Ferguson gets caught with that punch. Oh, big left hook there. Uh, Round two straight ahead. Uh, uh, right uh, uh, the horn and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that. They all forget some iron talent. Yeah, only I was talking. Second round underway. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Really a, a Terminator quality, though, to Tony Ferguson. Eats these shots and just keeps moving forward. Nice punch there by Diaz. Ferguson's facial cut is getting worse now, Joe. Man, is that thing fauceting blood. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in turn. Alter, wie war der perfekte Takedown, Alter, ey. Da war doch irgendwas mit der perfekten R2-Taste, Alter, ey. Wieso ist kein Stil im Mittel? Achso.
terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done yeah, when I'm it comes to his striking attack. Establishing the jab here. He's doing a really good job of timing these shots. Oh, look at him snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. All right, so he continues to land strikes here. Oh, that one he tagged, to him. Stun he tagged him. him. He tagged him. He heard him. Ferguson out on his feet. Under three minutes now. Oh! Oh! Fantastic fight. Big straight shot for the victory. Yeah, Joe, just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And here's the end of the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce... And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Ferguson is 11 years the elder. He will have a four in. You ready? You ready? Let's and we are underway. <laughs> Opens with the left hand and last rush. He's tagging her. Nice hook. Misses a huge hook to the head. Starts to get the combination going with the fist. Oh! And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. There too. He's gonna try to take the back. And full back. Got his back again. And he's flattening him out. Oh, he connected with that right hand. Big shot. Three minutes remain in the round. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. He gets the full mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Tags him. We might get a stoppage here. And really starting to make these shots count. 
He's out cold. Wow. He got the full mount and landed some absolutely vicious ground and pound for the KO. Yeah, Joe, safe to say he wasn't stalling or looking for a referee stand-up. He was looking to pound his opponent. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the... Ach, ich hätte Bock, oder? Gedacht, wir machen einmal kurz hier mit weiter gedacht, weil ich einmal diesen Titelkampf äh
Ich Start. Und ich hab ja keinen verloren, ne? We are underway. That one hurt. El Kukui gets caught with that punch. Blocks the shot. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. And he eats a right hand there. Both guys have proved to be dangerous in the opening seconds of this fight. Going to the body there with the right kick. Nice. Good defense there. Yeah, he's getting lit up here. And now that jab starting to get established. Oh, nice shot. Huge uppercut misses. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Good straight hand there by Ferguson. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Ferguson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Caught him with a punch. Strong work with the jabs there by Ferguson. Really good job landing that series of punches. Well, he gets cracked in the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable. Oh, he got caught. This could be it right here. He got tagged there. Lands a good combination. Oh, big left. Right hook to the head block. Ferguson gets caught with that punch. Oh, how good is that hook? He lands another one here. He's connected on several in this round. Plenty more where that came from, to be sure. Effective punch there by Ferguson. Doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Ferguson. Tagged him. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Nice combination of strikes there by Tony Ferguson. Circling to his right now, Joe. Oh, and he continues to effectively employ that jab. We told you he had one of the best in the game. He is putting it to good use tonight. Oh! What a wild fight! Beautiful, accurate uppercut that got him the win. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Joe, a near also, perfect strike up, to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week play, Bruce Buffer. Gucken, wie hier die aufgebaut ist. Wie gesagt, ich bedanke mich an dieser Stelle fürs Zugucken und ja, bis zum nächsten Mal bei irgendeinem exklusiven Spiel hier bei mir auf meinem YouTube Gaming Channel.